What's up, YouTube? Back again with another video. And today's video, we actually gonna go through my newer Nike jerseys. So the whole entire collection, I have about 50, um, including Authentics and Swingmans, which is really nuts just to think about that these jerseys came out not too long ago. But I figured let me throw this video for you guys just to see where I'm at in the collection with the newer Nike jerseys. And that's that. So right now we got a Giannis Antetokounmpo City Edition. This is a size 56. And as you can see how it fits on me, definitely fits perfect for me and my body frame. Definitely love the way it feels, love the way it fits, etc. All right. So we're going to go through these jerseys together. Um, I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put them. I guess I could put them back, but it's a little tight, this rack. So this is like my secondary rack. I actually have a rack of jerseys behind this camera so it's 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 starting to get a lot <laughs> but we're going to go through these jerseys together and uh some you may remember um some i haven't reviewed most of them so some you may not realize that i did have them but yeah so you know comment down below some of your favorite newer nike jerseys and and uh and let's get on with it all right so we're going to start it off with we had the Trey Young. I just reviewed this jersey not too long ago. A little direct review. So really, really nice jersey. I got this jersey for almost 100 bucks. And in fact, I actually want to do a video on some of my greatest steals. Hopefully, I can get to that video sometime soon. I remember getting an authentic LeBron Miami Heat authentic, the Revolution 30 jersey, for like 100 bucks, which is crazy. So this is... The Trey Young Authentic. We're going to put them here for the meantime. Um, again, I just reviewed this not too long ago. We got the Dame Dollar, Dame Lillard jersey. Super fire jersey. Dope. I love this. And I love Dame, man. I love Dame's just tenacity and how he's built. He's definitely built different. So we got the Kyrie Authentic jersey. Brooklyn represent. So definitely a dope jersey. Love to have the Kyrie in the collection. Funny enough, that's actually the only Kyrie jersey I have. I would love to get a Cleveland Kyrie um, authentic. But uh, I actually have never really looked for it. So, <laughs> And then we got the KD authentic Warriors. We got the six championships on the back. Super dope. KD, KD, back-to-back -back finals MVP for the Warriors. So got to respect that. Much love to KD. But now he's on Brooklyn. And we have these beauties of a jersey. Love this jersey. The more and more I look at it, the more and more they wear it. This jersey's fire, bro. Definitely fire. Brooklyn, go hard. We have the authentic city edition there. I'm just putting these jerseys in random places. We have another authentic Brooklyn Nets jersey. Beautiful jersey, Brooklyn. This is the standard black jersey. So, fire. And then, I don't see these jerseys too often in authentic. So, the minute they popped up on Nike, I had to get it. This is the white Brooklyn Nets. You see that stitching there. Fantastic, fantastic jersey. Um, plain jersey, but I just love the Brooklyn across the chest, you know, representing your city. So I bought, this is when uh, Nike first got the deal. I bought a customized jersey. This was a jersey I would wear for like on vacations and nothing crazy. I didn't like the players on the Brooklyn Nets at the time, but this is my birth date. Um, so I'm a August baby and yeah, so this is a swing man, one that you could create. So that's that you guys have never seen that before. I'm sure. <laughs> um, so we got the D Wade in this beautiful vice city. Of course, this is, this is the version that he didn't wear, but it's still really, really nice. D Wade love this Jersey sick. I also have another D Wade. And actually, I have a bunch of them in this swing, man. I actually ended up getting this jersey, I believe, on sale. This is a D-Wade in the black. Very similar to... <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. So, of course, this is the authentic Reebok version. And then this is the uh, newer swing, man. So, this is 
very similar to what these are uh or it's supposed to represent to what this jersey is this is uh his 06 2006 authentic jersey and this is his newer nike swingman um will i get the authentic maybe one day but because i have the actual jerseys that he wore during his playing career probably won't so really no need to get uh, another on nike authentic so that's that we have the white Miami Vice. I actually got this from the Miami Team Shop. And I believe uh, every once in a while they pop the, the black ones on on their website. Definitely don't mind getting the black one to kind of finish off the collection of the Miami Vice jerseys. And this is the last one. We had that pink Vice and that Swingman. Definitely dope. And then we get to a Michael Jordan swing man. So when Nike first came out with the new license to create the jerseys for the NBA, they promoted the Jordan jerseys pretty hard. This was one of them. Um, of course, they put the price of these a little bit more than the regular. Between him and Kobe, they always raise the prices on them. But this is the uh, MJ and White. And then you have the MJ in red. Then you have these. And in fact, I'm actually going to show you another one. Hold on a second. So it's a jersey I haven't worn yet. And I kind of keep it in the box. You have the authentic version, Nike. This is the uh, $400 retail. And I do have a video of this. And you see the Jumpman on that. And you see uh, the Jumpman on here. And then it has like a magnetic box so this is the authentic $400. Definitely not worth the $400. I got it for half the price, which is what the regular retails go for. Um, so this is, yeah, this is the MJ Authentic. I believe the Icon, whatever edition that is. But that's that. Um, we got a James Harden Authentic for you guys. In that two championships by Akeem. He's no longer on the Rockets, but he is on the Nets. And I'm hoping, hoping I can get an authentic Harden jersey shortly. Um, definitely would like to have one in the collection for the Nets. And as we go on, we got Steph Curry. Another authentic. I believe this is either a city edition or a statement. At, at this point, I just lose count. <laughs> But this one's nice gray with the yellow trim. You know, nice little touch on that. Then we have the City Edition from the first 2017-2018 uh, season. You see the five chips when they really have six. So they, they want a chip after this as well. You got that beautiful jersey. Definitely one of my favorites. Then you got Steph Curry again on an authentic. So the newer ones have less yellow around the uh, the design. It's more of a of a blue within the interior, and then the, I believe the thirties yellow. I, I'll look it up. I'll throw a picture up, but it's a little different, slightly different. It's not as much yellow here, but I love these jerseys. These are beautiful, beautiful jerseys. I reviewed them such a long time ago, so uh, most people probably forgot that I have these jerseys. But there you go with the six championships. And then still got another Steph Curry for you guys, an authentic. I believe these were going for like $70 on Nike. Um, and I believe I actually shouted out Rez and, and uh, gave Rez the link. And uh, he may have bought one as well. Uh, so you have these right here. Beautiful, beautiful jersey. You see the stitching. Just trying to angle it so you guys can see it with the lighting. Super sick jersey. We got plenty of jerseys to go, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. So, as we keep on going, we have an authentic Kawhi Leonard. Nice uh, rubberized um, LAC in the middle. You have your stitched uh, two stitched Leonard across. Super nice, beautiful jersey. 
uh that one and then this one definitely my favorites out of the the clippers jerseys you have the blue clippers sick and then you have the city edition mr cartoon really nicely done that's fire put these right here fuck it so sticking with Kawhi, you have all-star game jersey. I really bought it uh, less for Kawhi and more for the fact that it had uh, number two for Gigi. So if I could ever get this replaced and add maybe LeBron or add Gigi's name on it, that'd be even dope. Um, and then maybe add the patches to it later. I suck at all of that stuff, so I don't know. I probably have to send it out to somebody. You know, this is a project, unfortunately, but for now, this is what the jersey is. It's a really nice jersey. Um, you have the uh, the supplemented stars and stripes and the nice star on the front. The good thing about this jersey, it has no name or number on the front, so it's the back that we just got to worry about. So definitely dope, but uh, that is that. We got... Brody, OKC, definitely a clean, clean jersey. And funny enough, um, I actually have a Swingman version as well because at that point I didn't buy Authentics yet. So the first thing that came out was Swingman's and I definitely wanted to get a Westbrook jersey. So I ended up getting a couple of Swingman's actually, you'll see later on in this collection. But uh, there you go. You got the, the Westbrook right there. And then we had the Zion Williamson jersey. This is his rookie statement jersey. Super dope. Now they have these with the Jumpman on them. So, you know, fire for sure. Just love this jersey. The red really pops. I think I did a review on this as well. So you guys can check that out. While we're staying with Brody, another Russell Westbrook. And uh, I believe this was the City Edition for the first year. So you have your rubberized, your stitched OKC in that gray. Little pop of orange and blue. All right. So we get to the Dallas Mavericks, Luka Doncic. Sick, sick jersey. I did a review on this jersey not too long ago, but beautiful jersey. Now it's impossible to get. Try to get them. They're going for for 300 plus. So it's just crazy how these city jerseys just go so quickly. Again, got the Icon Edition jersey. Love the jersey. Love the style of the jersey. We got that one chip. So sick jersey. And then recently, and I actually did a video of it. I'm going to probably publish it soon. But recently, I picked up this jersey from the Mavs Team Shop for 150 bucks. Well worth it. They're probably going to, once they run out, it's probably uh, done for the, for the time period. But the funny thing about this jersey, and I'm going to point it out to you in the video, is it says dry fit. <laughs> so, where other jerseys, and let me uh, give you an example. So, this jersey, for example... Um, and as you guys see, you always see the vapor knit material on the inside tags. This one says dry fit. So originally I was going to spaz because I thought they sent me a swingman, but I paid for an authentic, but they didn't. This is, a, this is an authentic. As you see there, it has all the perforations and vapor knit material and all that other stuff. And. I will put this review up. I do have the review uh, finished. I just never published it. So you see, you should be seeing a review of this soon. And then we got another Luca. You got the City Edition from this year. Just different. I like the jersey. I like Luca. Um, you know, going to be one of the greatest players in the next 10 years, I believe. So. As we get into Giannis, another great player who's going to be around for the next 10 years. This is the Cream City jersey. It has that vintage cream look as you get on, on the uh, Philadelphia 76ers and all that other stuff. You have the uh, 
won championship back there. So super nice jersey is clean. You have the Milwaukee Bucks in green, in that fur green, they call it. The uh, authentic as well. Um, okay. We're going to go with... Uh, and then... And then we have the Big Buck Statement jersey. Um, still has the cream in the in the twills. Definitely a nice, nice jersey. Authentic as well. So now we get to my like LeBron, I guess, slash Kobe. So this is the final section of these newer Nike jerseys. So we go, we go to Cleveland with the land, and you have that jersey here with the uh, advertisement. Nice, clean jersey. And then you have the LeBron, the LeBron Cleveland jersey. Again, authentic. One chip that uh, LeBron helped bring in 2016. We have a Swingman because, again, I bought these Swingmans first before Authentics really became available. Um, actually like the Swingman on this. It's a really nice jersey. And his last All-Star game as a Cleveland Cavalier, you have this shiny, authentic All-Star game jersey that, that took place in L.A. So that's dope. Then you have this year's City Edition jersey. Um, not, not a lot of people seeing this. Uh, very difficult to get for whatever reason. Again, they just sporadically make a certain amount. And it's unfortunate because us as fans lose out. But you had the City Edition Authentic jersey from this year. And where's our classic jerseys? Where is our classic jerseys? And don't get me no fucking swing man for a classic jersey. Let me get an option to get an authentic. Um, don't understand the, the mindset of that. I'm going to probably end up picking up the City Edition. Not the City Edition. The Earned Edition swing man for LeBron. The gold check. It's the one that's the most different because they won the championship. It has the gold jock tag. And it has the stitched NBA logo gold as well on the back. And then I'm going to end up picking up uh, probably the next classic jersey. Again, can't find those anywhere anymore neither. So now we get into LeBron's first All-Star game as a Laker. This was the one in Charlotte. Nice authentic jersey piece. And then here we have... The LeBron, I was able to buy the patches and my mom sewed it on for me. Um, so definitely nice to have that little touch on there for this jersey. So there you have that. So this is the Swingman version. Again, I'll put this, I'll bring this on vacation. If I'm visiting my dad in Florida or visiting my mother-in-law in Puerto Rico, um, I'll take these out there because I don't mind sweating these or messing these up, going to the uh, beach with them. Versus going with my authentics and messing those up. So then we have the authentic city edition jersey from last year. This is my favorite city edition Lakers jersey out of the group. I would say if maybe if I had an authentic Mamba jersey, uh, maybe that would be a, the only one that would be better. But this is my favorite for sure. Then we have, again, this LeBron uh, authentic with the Kobe Bryant patch on it. We have an authentic Magic Johnson City Edition jersey. Really, really nice jersey. Definitely dope. So I'm I'm planning on rocking these jerseys, and hopefully soon because it's, it's getting to that weather now. Hopefully I don't fucking hold on one second, guys. I'm gonna just break everything. So. So definitely plan on rocking these with these for sure. Uh, I have two pairs of these, one with the white laces already in and, and these purple. I think these are going to be a big hit later on, but anybody who wants to miss out on these, that's on you guys. But this is a fire, fire sneaker. LeBron 8, can't go wrong with those, man. So that is the LeBron City Edition. And then we have another swing man as well. Worn this a couple of times. Yeah, 
you know, just another version of the authentic that I have there. And then we get to Kobe Bryant. Um, they released these his first year. They actually released a couple of more his first year. They released a white version, uh, 24. They released a yellow, 24. They released these, but they re-released these as well. Um, and the Mamba jerseys. I ended up getting this on like a restock, but really nice jersey. Um, would I wear it? Probably. I'll probably wear it with some Kobe's. I could always bust these out with... Uh, I could always bust these out with these. So that is Kobe Bryant. Then we have another, we have a Kobe Bryant swingman. This is paying homage to the MPLS jerseys. You see that dark uh, NBA logo, uh, old school throwback. Again, we should be getting classic authentics, but we aren't. It kind of sucks. But this is a great, phenomenal jersey. Definitely. I'm going to wear this this summer, by the way. And then we have the Black Mamba jersey. Beautiful jersey. With the snake skin and all this goodness. But uh, fantastic jersey. Trying to keep it as clean as possible. And then this is the last of it, guys. So we have... Let's see. Which one? Because I got two sizes. Okay, so this is the size I could put back. So eventually I'm going to get rid of that size, but I have a size 56 in the white LeBron. We have the championship number. I can't wait to get a LeBron with the 17 championship jersey. You know what I'm saying? So like Nike's slipping. Uh, I don't get it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm here to vent a little bit. So I don't get the fact that they're not giving us authentics for everything. They barely give us authentics for, as is the regular jerseys. Um, they're not giving us authentics for the classics. They're not producing the classic jerseys as they should. Like, I should be able to pick up a, a Kevin Durant classic jersey. I should be able to pick up a, a James Harden classic jersey. Again, we're not getting these. So, I'm a little pissed off about that. The Lakers have won a championship since October. We're already going into... into March. We're in the middle of March, going at the end of March. There's no newer Laker jerseys. There's no Laker classic jerseys. Like, you can't even get a swingman on those. And there's no uh, Laker jerseys that you can get a 17th championship patch. If you're going to make the swingman, earned edition swingman, with the championship logo, put a 17th championship patch on that. But no, they don't do that. Put a flimsy one. Put a cheesy one. I don't care. Um, so, yeah, I don't get it. It's frustrating what Nike's been doing. But I do love my Nike jerseys. Um, they're phenomenal jerseys. They look great. But, yeah, we got to figure something out, Nike. Because I feel like we're getting the short end of the stick. So, but there you guys have it. That's all. I believe I have 51. I'm probably miscount. Maybe I have 52, but I believe I have 51. But that's my Nike jersey collection, my newer Nike jersey collection. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed my rant. <laughs> Thanks for being patient with me and uh, sticking out with this video, man. I'm out. Peace.